Today I bring you one of the highest quality gachas I've seen that it's infringing absolutely every possible copyright law out there. <laughs> this is Enigma of Sepia and it's a game that is a Chinese game that's stealing characters from absolutely every single anime you can think of, gender bending them so they are all waifus in this case, and then actually having a high quality product which is kind of weird for this type of game. Now, why I'm showcasing this game? Well, first of all, it's funny how Google will be demonetizing content creators for playing games on the Play Store and for following the rules, but they will not be punishing companies for constantly stealing IPs, obviously infringing copyright laws left and right, and overall, as long as you are making them money, they don't care about you, right? So, this is the, our seventh day, the monetize. Let's talk a little bit about this game. I'm gonna be skipping uh, most of the stuff. This is not like a review or a first impressions or nothing. It's just a, a funny small video that I wanna show you. Of course, you will be seeing as much pop-ups as if this was Echocalypse. We don't talk about Echocalypse in, the, in this channel anymore though. So let me show it to you, the characters themselves, the gacha animation, a little bit of what this game is about, and then we'll go about everything else. So if we go to Hero, you will be able to see a lot of characters here that will be familiar to you, okay? And we'll go one by one, <laughs> because this is pretty funny. First of all, we have Ginara, which is not the same as Gintama, or right? it's not the same as Gintama, it just looks similar, similar clothing patterns, etc. Then you have Morgana, which is kind of close to Fate, a little bit, but looking, Fate is looking better than what I remember though. Then you have um, Scientia, which is Dr. Stone, but on a good waifu. <laughs> then you have Goku with a nice ass. I'm gonna be honest, if this was Dragon Ball, I mean, I would rewatch Dragon Ball no matter what, but I would rewatch it even more if this was Goku. So then we also have Bleach, of course, gotta get Bleach in there. You have Luffy right here, is chilling. You have um, Attack on Titan looking kind of <laughs> interesting. <laughs> then you have uh, Death Note as well. In fact, she is holding the Death Note. Like you can see it says Death Note plus the Apple plus everything, which is always funny. Then you have, I believe this is called Demon Slayer. I haven't watched the anime, but I'm pretty sure this is the character because of the doll, because of the uh, scar on the on the forehead, etc. Uh, then we have My Hero Academia. Deku is looking kind of thick, honestly. <laughs> I don't know where is this from. Someone told me in chat. I don't remember. If you guys remember where she is from or where he is from, I'll leave a comment down below. But yet another character from anime. Uh, then we are getting Aurora. No idea where she's from either. If you know, leave a comment down below. And uh, then we are getting Alicia, which is Boruto. Even the shirt says Boruto, by the way. And uh, then you have Full Metal Alchemist, Alfie. <laughs> Alfie is looking nice. <laughs> There is a lot more characters, by the way. I don't have all the characters. If I go to gallery, I have only like 43% of the units in the game. But for example, you have Jojo in here. You have a lot more popular IPs. For example, you have Van Helsing looking really good. Van Helsing is an anime that I always love, but this looks even better. <laughs> so, a lot of characters that infringe absolutely every copyright IP. Right? Let's, let's talk about the gacha itself, the raids, and I'll show you the combat. Because like I was saying, yes, this is a cash grab. Yes, this will last two months only. But these type of games, these type of cash grabs, they put more effort than real gacha companies making these type of games. They put more effort than Crunchyroll with Overlord, than Haze River with their gameplay, even though they have good fan service, than a lot of gachas that last for years, because these games actually want you to spend and feel good while knowing they are scamming everyone, because, well, they are stealing from absolutely every popular IP. So let's go into this advanced summon. This is a 10%, by the way, to get the characters, a lot of characters, and they are super generous because, once again, they need to be generous. They cannot be giving you nothing, right? So a 10% to get the characters, pretty good. We got a two, okay. You can get either shards or you can get directly the character which will be converted. So as you can see, we got a shard for Giselle that looks amazing. We got Luffy, a dupe, and we got a Dr. Stone, a dupe. So they were converted. We can do another multi between ones where we got... Who the fuck is this? Who is this? Nice hips, though. Oh, okay, okay. I see. <laughs> Pochita on the shoulder and everything. That's funny as fuck. Um, is this more Demon Slayer or what is this? I don't know, but nice ass. I think that's what we got. Okay, can we do one last multi? Oh, Trafalgar Law coming in hot. All right. 
<laughs> I think that's it, right? Yep. Trafalgar Law and Dukes. So, like I was saying, the game is super generous. They will give you a lot of stuff because, well, they want to keep you in here. There is a lot of events constantly in here. Guilds, PvP. There is even, if I switch here, there is even a spa. And in the spa, you can put any character you want as long as you have them at two stars and you'll be able to put them on the hotspot and watch them enjoy a relaxing evening. <laughs> Now, let's go into the combat, okay? Let's ignore this because it's funny. Let's go into the combat itself and let's go into our team. First animations for all the characters, uh, complete animated on 3D, and this is going to be a five characters on your team. It's turn-based, they're turn-based, it's real time if you want. And there is verse animations for everything, like I was saying, which it's fully voiced, <laughs> decent animations, it's actually impressive how much effort they're putting into a cash grab like this. Like I was saying, burst animations for every single character, not only like the, uh, the high rarity ones. And there is also a skins in the game for the characters if you want more fan service. I think the game is only on English, which is surprising. They are targeting, they are not targeting the Asian marketplaces. Um, I find that honestly interesting how they are not targeting the other uh, the other markets because it's only on English. But that's the game. Okay, I don't want to be here like six hours showing you something that is not worth it. Okay, this is a fun game that if you want to play, it's called once again Enigma of Sepia. I'll leave the the, the name on a comment. But if you play, don't spend money because again cash grab infringing absolutely every copyright law but google doesn't care because it's making them money and as long as you're making google money they don't care but if you show it on youtube you will get demonetized <laughs> so all in all this is the game it's a funny one and that's it have a great day and see you the next one ベンチ万物を切るとはこういうことです。